Hey guys, it's Glenn from glenscarcollection.com, and this video is all about the upcoming CEA Corvettes. Now, if you follow the channel, you know I reviewed my friend's Elkhart Lake Blue with adrenaline red interior, 2LT C8 with a Z51 package and no magnetic ride, and I love that car. It was a fantastic car to drive. Since we don't have footage on new C8 Corvettes that are coming out and they're different variants. I figured you might as well look at this car because it is drop dead gorgeous. Now, I don't think pictures show this justice. You really have to see the C8 in person. Uh, sometimes it looks a little awkward from some angles, but as you can see, uh, well, if you see it in person, it's, it's really a beautiful car. Now, I'm really excited. The C8 Corvette was fantastic for the price, and we're going to have more C8 driving reviews coming through. You could watch this review from last year. It's on the channel. I strap a GoPro on, I drive and show you what it's like to drive. We go every, everything about the car, we go over the features of the 2LT. We're gonna have upcoming videos of me driving and reviewing a 3LT and a 1LT, so you'll be able to compare those together and find out which Corvette is right for you. So is the base Corvette right for you? I can't even uh, feel bad even calling it a base Corvette, but there are some really good versions coming on that have more horsepower, faster, and more of an edge to them. So I've been waiting for the Z06 to come out, and we may actually have the debut of the Z06 in July of this year, so that'll be fantastic. They're gonna have really cool features on all these cars, so let's go through them. So the Z06 should be the next iteration of the Corvette. So remember with the, uh, the C7 Corvette, we got the base model. You can get the base model with the Z51 package like this car has. Then came the Z06, then came the Grand Sport. So the next one is going to be the Z06. Like I said, it should be revealed in July of this year. Now it's going to have a 5.5 liter flat plane crank V8. Now this engine is derived from the C8R race car. Now remember in the Chevy uh, Corvette race car, that engine is detuned to 500 horsepower. But in the ZS6, in the street version that you could buy off the showroom floor, it's going to put out 617 horsepower, which will be phenomenal. Now, remember Ford with their Voodoo engine and 5.2 liter V8 that you find in the GT350 only puts out a paltry 526 horsepower. Now, that 617 horsepower is even more than Porsche's 918 Spider. The 918 Spider without all the hybrid assists just the engine itself put out 599 horsepower. So Corvette actually beat that car by uh, 18 horsepower. Now the Z06 is obviously going to be more hard edge, so it may not be for everybody, but it's definitely for me. And one of the things that's definitely for me is that engine is going to have a 9,000 RPM red line. So you're essentially going to have a car you can rev out like a NSX or S2000 or E46 M3, but it's going to be a V8 and have or actually an E92 M3, let's say, it, but it's going to have 617 horsepower, a warranty, you can buy it off the showroom floor. So, of course, it'll have an upgraded suspension. What I really like is also going to have quicker steering, wider wheels, of course, it's got to put that power to the ground, and Michelin Cup tires. It'll be interesting to see what happens with the base C8 Corvettes once the C06 comes out, because I've heard rumors that the Z06 is probably going to start around 85 or 90, and people are still paying 90 to 100 because they're paying over sticker to get the base Corvette. So if that, I don't know when that car will be production, when you can buy a Z06. Obviously, it's going to debut. You'll see it in person in July. Don't know at this time when you're actually going to buy one off the showroom floor. I'm sure there'll be huge markups on that if there were huge markups on the C8, but I wonder what's going to happen to the C8, obviously, market prices with the Z06 coming out. So leave a comment below. and Leave a comment below what is your favorite version of the Corvette that we go through in this video. Maybe it's the base. Maybe it's uh, one of the other ones. Now, after the Z06 is going to come, when we spoke about this before, the Corvette E-Ray. So that's going to be a Corvette with an electric motor. So let's talk about that. So now that's going to have a 6.2 liter V8 instead of a 5.5 liter from the Stingray. It's going to have an electric motor powering the front wheels, and that's really significant because this is going to be the first all-wheel drive Corvette, right? So you got the regular engine powering the rear wheels, the electric motors powering the front wheels, and it's going to have a total output of about 590 horsepower, which is actually less than the Z06 at 617, but it'll actually be quicker from 0 to 60 than the Z06 will, and the reason for that is obviously the torque of the electric motors and all-wheel drive. So where the Z06 in the past, and I've had a C5 Z06, and 
you know, the C6, Z06, the C7, Z06, they struggle to get all that horsepower to the ground. Well, with the all-wheel drive, all that horsepower is going to get to the ground. So 590 will actually be quicker than 617 in the real world. Though I still like the idea of the Z06, to be honest. Then after those cars, we'll have the Corvette Z01. So we've seen the Z01 in the in the past and and most recently in the in the C7 Z01 and before that the C4 Z01. I always wanted the C4 Z01 in uh, Admiral Blue a 95. <laughs> I had a 95, but it was just a base fat in that color. But the Z01 is going to obviously have a harder edge driving experience than the, even the Z06. And it's going to have a twin turbo setup. So the first time you'll see a twin turbo setup in a production Corvette. And that's going to again use the 5.5 liter V8. So with the turbos, it's going to make 804 horsepower. So almost 200 horsepower or 190 horsepower or so more than the Z06. So will that be the car to buy? Would that be the Corvette that was the best, most powerful C7 Corvette, the ZR1? So would that be for the Z08? And if you think that, you're actually going to be wrong because the most powerful, and we've talked about this on the channel before, and remember to like, share, and subscribe for all your Corvette content because we're going to have a lot of stuff coming up on the C8, is going to be the highest, most powerful Corvette ever made in a couple years is going to be the Corvette Zora. So this will be the Halo model. So it's actually going to use the E-Rate Corvette's electric motor and the ZR1's twin turbo 5.5 liter V8. And guess what the horsepower is going to be? It could be as high as a thousand horsepower. That'll be incredible. That'll be a supercar. Now, I don't know what these cars are going to cost. And uh, stay tuned to the channel. So we'll let you know costs as soon as it's released and when they're going to be available to purchase. And I'm sure we'll get, hopefully be lucky enough to review all these versions. And again, New C8 Corvette videos coming soon. And the 2LT that you see here, we've reviewed. We have a long review of it, a 3LT and a 1LT coming. So make sure to uh, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss it. Like and share these videos and leave a comment below. What's your favorite Corvette? Are you fine with the base? Hey, you can get a base. My friend bought a 1LT Z51 for about 65 grand. You could, you could have that and just mod the heck out of it and you don't have to pay six figures for a Zora or or a ZR1 or anything like that. So let me know in the comments below. Counting in value, which is you think to get. I'm still kind of eyeing the Z06 myself. Could I think a 9,000 RPM redline is more than enough for me. But uh, that E-Ray sounds pretty cool too. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks again for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time.